What's going on YouTube? Today I'm gonna to show you how to edit a picture in Lightroom Mobile for Instagram. Now I know the majority of pictures that's on Instagram were probably edited on the phone right before they posted it. So I'm gonna show you how you can do this in Lightroom Mobile. Now it does not matter if the picture was taken on a smartphone or if it was taken with a camera, but this particular picture that I'm using right now for this example was taken on my camera and we're editing a JPEG for it right now. So it's not a raw file or anything like that, it's just a regular JPEG from my camera. And if you wanna see the video for this photo shoot, you can check it out right here at this link. And I will also link it down in the description box below. But let's get into the editing. And the first thing I'm gonna to do to edit it for Instagram is give it a crop. I'm going to crop it at four by five because that fits on Instagram the best. And I think about right, no, right that's good. So let's go with that. And I'm going to go over to light and lower the exposure about right there. Let's increase the contrast a good bit to about here. And let's take down the highlights all the way. Let's leave everything else where it's at for right now. And I'm going to go to the white balance. Now it is slightly warm, so I'm gonna cool it off a little bit and move it away from the greens to about right there. All right, now let's increase the vibrance a lot. I know it looks weird, but we'll deal with that later. And I'm gonna leave saturation where it is. Now let's go to the color mixer and go to the greens and change them all the way to all the way over to this bluish greenish looking color. And I'm going to increase the saturation a little bit and darken the luminance. Now let's go fix the skin tones and the oranges. So let's get to a good color, which is about there. Turn down the saturation to a more normal amount like that and add a little luminance. So now what I'm going to do is go to the yellows and you can see the golds. I'm gonna make sure those golds are really gold, not orange and not like greenish, but a nice gold color. Bring the saturation back down to about right there. Just enough for them to pop. And the blues is gonna affect her skirt. So let's go about right there because it was really blue. It wasn't like dark blue, it was like about right there. And increase the luminance from that. And let's put that about right there. Increase the luminance so it pops out a little more. And that's pretty good with that. Now I'm gonna go to effects and dehaze the picture a little bit. So about right there. Increase the clarity, not too much, but just enough to add a little edge to the picture. And I'm going to add a vignette about right there. All right, so now that we got that going, Let's go back to light and let's play with the curves. So let's go to the mid-tones, raise them a little bit. The shadows are gonna darken. The highlights are gonna bring down. And we're gonna give it a slight, slight fade. Not much, not like washed out, but just enough. Just enough to notice about right there that looks good and let's go back to the curves let's, let's go to the reds add a little more red to the skin so it won't be so gray now the reds are looking a little too red and i'm gonna fix that with the green all right I think I'm gonna bring the green down so I can get the leaves where I want. And then go to the reds and deal with the 
Let's see if I can get the red out of the skin as much. Let's go to the color mixer. Yeah. to be purple I want to be like a good strong color all right I think that looks really nice and that's pretty much it let's see let's lower the contrast a little bit let's take the whites down some Raise the blacks up a little bit. And let's see before and after. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Let's sharpen it just a little bit. All right, there. And that's pretty much it. I like the way it looks. Uh, I'm digging it. And that's pretty much how I would edit this picture in Lightroom Mobile. Now I've originally edited this picture in Photoshop and Lightroom on the desktop when I originally took the picture, but I can pretty much get the same results on Lightroom Mobile and pretty much any other phone editing app that allows you to have the same tools. It's all pretty much the same process, just different programs that do the same thing. So find one that you like, even if you don't like Lightroom, it pretty much works in any mobile editing app that you can find. If you want more videos like this, just let me know. I'll do more editing tips for mobile or show you more Lightroom tips and stuff like that. So just let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you check out the video to that photo shoot. I will link it down below. Follow me on Instagram. Be sure to leave me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.